Hello, 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 everyone. And thank you for joining us for our new Edward J. Lewis II Lawyers in the Classroom program series. For those of you who aren't aware, the Chicago Bar Association's Edward J. Lewis Lawyers in the Classroom program has existed for over 30 years. The program, which was originally a part of Constitutional Rights Foundation Chicago, involves me, Tiffany Watson, director of the program and former teacher and administrator, placing attorneys in second through eighth grade social studies, social sciences, and literature classrooms to teach students about the US Constitution, their constitutional rights, our legal system, and their rights and responsibilities under the law. Now, under the auspices of the Chicago Bar Association's 501c3 since 2019, the Lawyers in the Classroom program has continued to flourish. Attorney volunteers are partnered with teachers to provide students with grade level lessons and knowledge based on real life experiences, help them develop their critical thinking skills and offer young people an opportunity to interact with a variety of positive adult role models. The purpose of this series is for you to learn more about our participants in the Lawyers in the Classroom program, i.e. our attorney volunteers and teacher partners, while also learning about what they've experienced during our lawyer in the classroom visits. Today, we have another attorney volunteer, Ms. Chastity Burns. Chastity is counsel for the United States Senate Committee on the Judiciary under Senator Richard Durbin. And we are so pleased to have her here today. Thank you so much, Chastity, for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. Of course. So just to get things started, why did you decide to be a part of the Lawyers in the Classroom program? Um, I love being involved in the Lawyers in the Classroom program because I think it's so important to educate students about what their rights are and, um, and about the importance of civic engagement. I love working with young people and obviously think that they, if we can get them interested in the law and in the importance of the law, they're obviously going to be the future of the profession. So I love working with the young people and um, getting them engaged in, in this different subject matter and um, just kind of bringing to life some of the concepts that they're learning in their more traditional classes. Excellent. And so um, I know that you participated prior and this year was your first time um, participating remotely since the entire mm -hmm. year the school was all schools were remote mostly. Um, what do you believe are the benefits of the Lawyers in the Classroom program? Um, well, one benefit I see is definitely just exposing students to attorneys. Um, when I was growing up, I didn't have any attorneys in my family. I didn't grow up around lawyers or um, having a ton of knowledge about the legal profession. And so I think it's really cool for us to bring in attorney volunteers and expose students to different careers that they may not be familiar with and just open up those possibilities for them. Um, also, just from a personal standpoint, I think it's important to expose students to minority attorneys and minority women attorneys so that they, you can't um, be what you can't see. So just showing them the example of what we're doing in the profession, I think is very important for them. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. Representation is so important. And so that's why we're just so pleased that you were a part of the program. Um, and so knowing that you were able to participate remotely, can you um, identify any um, experiences or any highlights through the year that you experienced this year? Sure. Yeah, it's been really different doing it virtually. And I think there is, there's always some hesitancy that students won't be as engaged um, online. They may not pay attention as much and everybody just kind of has Zoom fatigue. But um, my favorite times during these sessions has been just seeing the students get really excited about the different constitutional topics that we're teaching. And especially to see them ask um, really detailed and engaging questions that have to do with their see with what they're seeing in the news. Um, it's been obviously a hard year for everyone and a stressful year for everyone with the pandemic and um, with the you know call for police reform and whatnot. And these students are seeing those topics in the news and hearing their parents discuss them. And they may not have the context or background for them themselves because they're so young. So it's been great to get students really engaged in those topics and in current events and, and have them um, be able to ask practitioners like us about how the law applies and to help explain um, those events to them, give them clarity and kind of engage them in the moment. Excellent. Well, I, again, we're just so excited that you were part of the program and that you 
we're able to connect with the students. Um, so thank you again, and I look forward to working with you next year. Thanks so much.